this week's card class. This week for class, I wanted to make three cards that were kind of summery, but also just kind of fun and interesting one that's a little artistic. So for our first card, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, I wanted to have a card that was kind of bee themed. So we're using this new bee paper, which is so cute, tiny little bees all over it. It's pretty fun, double-sided as always. And um, so what we're gonna do for, to get started is we're gonna take our little iridescent twine here, our little ribbon, and we're gonna fold that in half and we're gonna cut it in half. Then you have your little stamp sentiment that says, have a happy day. So you have your little bee pieces here and you're gonna notice they're not gonna be perfectly square. So you're gonna go ahead and you're going to um, glue them down on the top and bottom around the sentiment here. So double-sided tape on all four sides of those. And we're gonna stick those down. As you lay this down, you're gonna have this nice, it probably looks about an eighth of an inch on the top and on the left and right. And then you're gonna do the same thing at the bottom here. Sorry, I just realized this was a tiny bit crooked and that was going to bother me. There we are. And then again, double-sided tape on the bottom piece. And we're just gonna frame this out nicely with an even border again on the bottom left and on the right. Okay, so as you lay that down, you have your nice little sentiment and it says happy day right in the middle. Then you have your little pieces of twine here. So on the back side of this, on the left and right, we're gonna put down our double-sided tape. What we're gonna do here is we're framing out our sentiment. So we're gonna take our little twine and put it right along the edge of our little bee paper there. And then we're just gonna bring that around and fold it to the back side and stick it to the double-sided tape. So here again, bring this around and fold it to the back side to the double-sided tape. So it's just sticking in place there. And we're gonna do the same thing at the top part of the sentiment. Again, just line it up on top of the B paper, fold it around to the back side, press it in place. And again, on the other side, fold that around and press it in place, okay? All right, so now that it's framed out our sentiment, now we'll put double-sided tape on there again, kind of locking in that ribbon, and then also along the top and bottom. All right. So we have our paper here that has the little hex cutout on the right side. I really love this just because it just adds more to the card and follows the kind of B um, kind of theme that we have going on. So we're gonna go ahead and lay this down. Once again, we're gonna have about an eighth of an inch border on all four sides there. I'm sorry, on all three sides, top, left, and on the bottom. And then on the right side, it's gonna be our little hex, our little hexagon there. As you open up the card here, we have a kind of our ivory paper. We have a double-sided tape on that on all four sides. And we'll lay that down in here. You're gonna have about a 16th inch border on all four sides there. Then we have our little yellow piece here. So I'm putting double-sided tape on the back side of it, but when you're going to lay this down, you'll need to make sure that you're, it's covering up um, the entire space where the hexagon is showing. So I'm gonna suggest you kind of bring this to the edge and it's probably gonna be about a 16th inch of the ivory showing. Don't press it down, just kind of tap it in place. That way you can close this and see, oh gosh, that's not covering it up all the way. And I noticed I thought I had it perfect, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lift that up. Oh, because I did not press it in place. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, I ripped my page up just a little bit. That's okay, I'm just gonna scoot that over just slightly, make sure it's gonna line up okay, perfect. And now we'll press that in place. Okay, so there we have card number one. Isn't that fun to have a happy day card? Oh. I just love it. And I love having the little yellow peek through on the little hexagon. And then you have a nice spot on the inside to write your little message. All right, on to the next card. 